I'm going to do a quick video. Pretty simple. There's a lot of these out there, but I use this STC 1000. I just got it. I really haven't used it yet, but I'm going to use it on a small hatchling rack I just made. I'm going to show you how I'm going to wire it. These are the things you're going to need. They have this little cover on the back when they come. And you have to push in in there. And this just slides out. And you can expose these little screws inside. And that's where you're going to hook all your wires. There's a little diagram. Power supply. Heating. Cooling. Sensor. We're not going to use the cooling or the sensor because the sensor came connected. This is what I'm going to need. <clears throat> and I cut it all pretty short so that you could see what I'm doing. And I cut an extension cord in half. And I cut two small wires, two short wires. And one a little longer. And I'm going to take one of the small wires and I'm going to stick it into the first port, port one. I'm going to tighten it down. I'm going to take the second small one. Put it into port 5. Make sure it's in there good. Tighten it down. I'm going to take the long one, longer one. I like to really get these twisted good. Stick it in here. This is the other power port, port two. Make sure it's in there. Tighten it down until it's snug and not going anywhere. Now I've got all those in. I'm going to take my power end. And this is not a polarized thing or grounded. And I'm going to take the two short ones and one of the ones from my power cord. I'm going to twist them together. I'm going to use a That's together. I'm going to set it to the side. And what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to obviously use longer stuff when I do it for my rack, but I have a plug on each of the three layers of my hatchling rack, so they'll all three plug into this, and this will control them that way. So I'm going to take the remaining two. One from the plug, one from the other power outlet, and one from the plug in. I'm going to twist them all together. M. A wire nut. Then, I only have one spot left for this the other end of the plug wire and that is port 6 which I've already loosened all these screws you loosen these first I didn't mention that at the beginning and then get that in there I might have made that a little too long Take it go in Nothing's coming out. And that's it. So, theoretically, this would be longer if I was going to really use this one. But I'll plug this into my power source. And I'll plug my three hatchling racks into this. 
fan. You can set the power. All right, so I decided to show you what I meant by plug it all in. So this is the current setup I have here. And right now I'm only using one of the levels of that rack. As you can see, I have them all wired. Each one is wired to a separate plug. Alright, programming this thing. Power button, hold it. For a little while it'll go off and on. The S button here brings you this little weird F menu. You go, let go of it, go up to F1 or F2. F1, you hold S again, and then hit the up, and that's how you change the temperature with up and down. It takes two hands. And then when you're done, you hit power, and that saved it. And then we hold down S again. This pops up, we go up to F2, then we hold S, and this thing pops up and that is how much degrees of difference it will be so if you wanted this thing to be 31.1 degrees see we have it on 31.3 so it's kicked on now we go up here and we hit this and when we move this it's only going to go 0.9 degrees up or down from our target before it kicks on I do one degree it won't kick on nearly as often and I think that should be pretty good when you're done you hit power lightly just tap it and it saved all the settings in there and that's it I can't figure out if you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit but just I just do it in Celsius all right I hope this helped you guys out all right he said, get in the snake room and show you what I meant on how I would hook this up. So, what I have here is this current setup using this thing. I want to replace it, but it's run basically the same way. Each level of my rack has a plug to it. I wired each level individually. It's its own plug, and then I plug those into whatever heat source. That way, if I don't want to use one of them, like right now, I only have one snake in here, and I'm only using that one rack. But what I would do is take each rack, plug one in to each of these, then plug this in to the wall and I would have this right side up plugged into that and theoretically this would run all of the levels of that rack hopefully this helped if you're looking for this I'm not an expert I say do this at your own risk you could also do something cool and buy a herbstat but these were like 20 bucks and those were like 190 so I'm gonna try this thanks for watching